ngayong aga sa tanan kami ay pupunta sa Sorry Cave kaya ayan yung mga kasama namin kami ay nasa bundok bababa kami hanggang sa baba kung saan yung kweba na aming papasukin makikita doon ang isang tour spot ng Israel ang Sorry Cave maraming stalactite at stalagmite <laughs> na pinag-iingat-ingatan ng Israel. Ayun, hinihintay namin yung yung time namin para makapasok kami sa Kuwaiba. Sa loob ng Kuwaiba, may pila guys, kaya iyan. Ayun, ang pila naghihintay kami. Kaya we need to wear a mask dahil na close close place ito, kaya we need to wear a mask. Entrance ng cave kung saan yung tourist spot ng Israel na maraming stalagmite at stalactite. During spring, the wooded hillsides are carpeted with colorful flowers. On the slopes of the hills, between the trees, a multitude of habitats shelter a rich and diverse world of wildlife. Next to the ridge, there is a fully operational limestone quarry. Spring, 1968. An explosion rings out, a routine blast at the hard tooth quarry. But this explosion is different from those that came before. It reveals the entrance into a world that had until now been concealed in the depths of the earth. Naturalists hastening to the site are amazed to discover a unique and rare natural wonder. The Sorek Stalactite Cave. Small in size, vast in its scope for imagination. Quarrying work was immediately halted. And a few days later, the stalactite cave was declared a nature reserve. The cave was formed many years ago, when the area was close to sea level. The limestone became saturated with groundwater, which dissolved the chalky stone, opening up large caverns. Later, the entire area was pushed up to form a mountain ridge. The entrance to the caves in the area rose to a height of 400 meters above sea level. Rain falling on the hill seeps through cracks in the hard rock, collecting carbon dioxide on its way. As a result, the rainwater becomes acidic and slowly continues to dissolve the limestone, widening the cracks and creating additional underground caverns. Alongside the process of dissolution, a process of sedimentation and crystallation is also taking place inside the cave. Each drop of water trickling down to the ceiling of the cave releases carbon dioxide gas into the cavern. The dissolved particles of limestone sink and form crystals, and each drop leaves behind a minute ring of chalky material. This results in the formation of stalactites in a process that began many years ago and is still continuing to this day. First to be formed are the macaroni stalactites, long hollow tubes that are the diameter of the droplet. The water flows through them like a pipe. When the water drips very slowly, the macaroni stalactites become blocked and the droplets begin to flow over their outer surface, causing sedimentation of the chalk around them and changing their shape. In this way, different shapes are produced, from slender stalactites to conical forms, broad at the top, and tapering towards the bottom. sedimentation. Stalactites formed from a slow drip are usually smooth and uniform. On the other hand, stalactites that have joined together and cave coral that is settled on the floor of the cave and on the stalagmites come in many shapes. In areas where the water trickling into the cave forms pools, pool sedimentation also collects. Flowing water leaves sediment behind, called flowstones and large lactites are commonly found in different directions, as if the force of gravity did not exist. The lactite cave is changing all the time. 
the limestone sedimentation and the construction of diverse forms of cave sedimentation are dependent on carbon dioxide being released from the drops of water, and therefore, the composition of the air in the cave has an effect on the process. People breathe out carbon dioxide, and since the site was open, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the cave has gone up. The Nature and Parks Authority has installed a system to monitor the climate in the cave and measure its carbon dioxide concentration, relative humidity, and temperature. The monitoring system helps preserve fixed environmental conditions as close as possible to the natural conditions prevailing in the cave before it was opened to the public. In order to protect the treasures of the cave while also allowing people to visit, the Nature and Parks Authority has created a raised walkway, leading visitors through the main caverns without damaging them. Ang treasure ng Israel. Dito ay bawal maingay, bawal mag-touch-touch. -touch. Maraming bawal. May mga bantay. <laughs> ang dilim dito sa loob. Kaya pasensya na madilim ang video ko. Dahil bawal ang plush dito. Stalactite yung sa baba. Ayan, ang daming, ang dami-dami. Para sila yung mga punso. No Uy, ba't ba hindi kasi punso nyo? No place. Hindi na nga ako nagpicture-picture eh. Uy, ba't ba hindi kasi ng ulo ng mga Bawal mag-plush ang cellphone. Kaya, ayan, right? One of the tourist spots in Israel. The Sorif Cave na iniingat-ingatan ng Israel. Ayan. Bawal talaga dito ang ilaw o ano. Ayan. O, kitang kita naman ako. Ayan, ayan. Pang three times ko na napunta dito. Ngayon lang ako nag-video-video. <laughs> ayan. Ayan. Ay, ay, yung ano. Ayun, ang gaganda, oh. Hmm. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. 20 minutes lang dito sa loob. Ayan, guys. The treasure in Israel. Treasure ng Israel. Keep moving. Naghihinto-hinto si Ldel. Nagpipicture-picture. Ayan. Oh my God. Parang mga punso. Ayan. Ang laki-laki. Hmm. Ayan. Ang laki-laki. Ayan. Ayan. Kita naman tayo. Pwede ko kayo makicturean. Good morning. Don't you splash na. Kita naman tayo yun. Nakikita nga. Kaso nga lang, ano? Hap. 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 Ano? Hap. Keep moving. Ayan, 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 ayan. Ang treasure ng isa. Ang taos nito. Ang taos, taos. Laki-laki nyo. Mabasa yung daanan, guys. Wow, ang ganda. Ang laki-laki. Grabe, para yung mga building na sa movie. <laughs> Nako, kapag mahulog yan, ako, hindi ko kagat tayo. Ayan. Tingin. Tingin, tingin. Ay, diretso po. Hindi ko na kailangan picture dito. <laughs> Maraming bisis na ako nagpunta dito eh. Ang ganda-ganda, oh. Wow. Treasure ng Israel. Wow. Oh my gosh. God. Parang mga, yun, oh. Parang 
punso ng duwende. Next time, pagpunta nyo dito din na may papasukin. <laughs> Nakapapasukin. Tagal nyo daw maglakad. Sagot lang. Bawal daw. Pati flash meron. <laughs> Wala, nag-flash si ano. Si sister <laughs> Diane. <laughs> Oo, kaya bilisan yung keep moving dun sa ano. Unahan. Yung nasa likod po. Sure. What's your step? Mabasa yung sa semento, guys. Kailan? Pupunta tayo dyan. Yung gaganda dito. One of the best tourist spot ng Israel. Ayan. Ang gaganda, oh. Ayan. Para na sa ibang planeta tayo. Keep moving. Ayan. Kusang nagpo-form yan sila. Mga ano. Mga formation ng bato. Bato ba yun? Ay kusang ano, shower. Para hindi sila mag-dry. Nakita nyo dun sa video kanina. Keep moving, sis. Ate Shali, tingnan mo. Okay, okay naman. Oo. Oh. Oo, oh, maganda naman pala. Okay naman. Ay, kalukuhan. Magkakadayaan yun ang tunay. Madaya, madaya ang camera. Ay, wala na. Hindi niya nakita. Unti-unti ako. 77. Ano yun? May kinikita ka? Ano yun? May kinikita ka? Okay, you with the flashlight outside of the cave, please. Oh, Lila, what's up, God? Ayan guys, palabas na kami, palabas na kami. Ayan. Kami ay palabas na. <laughs> Tapos na ang aming pag-tour, 15 minutes only inside the cave. So, bye-bye guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.